I just love this. Maybe I should be um, letting you hear my prayer before I open the Bible. I never really thought about that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> today my prayers are, my prayers are always begin with thanksgiving. As I am so grateful to God. And then I pray for others. And what is going on outside? Anyway, um, <clears throat> I pray and then I ask God to please teach me from his word what he would have me to know and what he would have me to share with you. <clears throat> and I just open the Bible and then there it is. And I know that's simple-minded, but I'm sorry, but it works. And God is always faithful. He's so faithful. Anyway, I, um, I'm going to read it to you. It looks like today God gave us Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 is what I went to. And <clears throat> I haven't read it until now, so I don't know what it's going to say. Do not worry. There, this When it's read, that's Jesus talking. And this is the Bible, in case you miss that. It's a word for you for the day. Do not worry. Therefore, I tell you, you do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It is, is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. Oh, good lesson there. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Ooh, good stuff here. Good stuff. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> I just want to say to you out there, it's like this every day. <laughs> every day when I read his word, it just strikes my heart. And if it strikes your heart, then that means something. That means that you are open to God and to his word. And even the fact you're here listening right now tells me that God's spirit has prodded you to come here and to hear his word. He has something to say to all of us, every one of us. Okay, so... Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? And why do you worry about your clothes? See how the, the lilies of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, Will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So there's a contingency. <clears throat> Excuse me. But seek first his kingdom, God's kingdom, and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Wow, pretty cool. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your word and that you strike the chords of my heart so precisely. You touch every day you do this. 
And it only proves your Holy Spirit is with us. It only proves that you care about every detail of our lives, that you love us, and you want to comfort us and guide us. You're amazing. You are amazing, God. You blow my mind. And I love you. I really love you. I thank you, God, for sending your son to die for me as a a sacrificial lamb. I will never be able to fully comprehend that kind of love. It just melts my heart. When I take communion, I cry. And I just am overwhelmed. (sighs) Thank you, Father God, for loving every single person on the planet and dying for every single person on the planet. Father, you are so good, so good. I pray, Father God, that those ears that hear this word today will turn to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.